This is AEDT 1160U Digital Communication Technologies. This week we are discussing digital communication environments. The title of this video clip is Online No-No's. Wikipedia defines etiquette as the code of behavior that delineates expectations for social behavior according to contemporary conventional norms within a society, a social class, or group. For example, one should not text at the table when eating with others. One should not use a speakerphone unless the person at the end of the line is alerted and is okay with it. Another example would be, whoever arrives at a door first should hold the door for the person who comes next, regardless of gender. And one last good example of an etiquette rule to follow is, avoid microwaving extremely spicy food or garlicky food in a shared lunchroom. One follows etiquette rules to show respect to other individuals in community or social professional or any other kind of groups. Equivalently, interacting online has rules and conventions to follow in order to keep and nurture efficient and worthy relationships. The analysis questions for this video clip are What is netiquette? List some examples. List some examples of negative online behaviors. Which online behaviors are considered a nuisance? Which online behaviors are considered illegal? What is copyright law and what is creative commons? The first and most crucial netiquette to abide by is to remember that there is one or more human beings at the other end of the interaction. Although the interface that users are interacting through is the screen of their connected device, the messages they are sending, the posts they are sharing, or the comments they are expressing are reaching other human beings who will be interpreting the messages using their own lens and background understanding. In other words, don't say in cyberspace what you would not say in real life. And be even more careful because you never know how one comment might be misinterpreted by a different culture or subculture group. If netiquette consists in one set of online rules, it is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many more rules one must abide by, just like in real life. If you think that what you are planning to do would be considered illegal in real life, it is for sure illegal in cyberspace, so don't do it. Keep your messages concise and dry to the point. Most of the readers will have a quick look at the first two lines, then move to another message. Never publish online when you are overwhelmed with emotions, especially when you are angry. Everything you post or share online has the potential to stay forever, so it can and will be used against you if someone looks for the opportunity. Other online no-nos would be sending huge files, which would block others' inboxes, forwarding chain mail, flaming, stalking, etc. Undoubtedly, the biggest no-no is cyberbullying. Cyberbullying includes, but is not restricted to, cruelty by posting hurtful or threatening messages on social networking sites, or having embarrassing moments shared with the world, sexting, which is sending and circulating sexually messages, photos and requests, deception, and much more. Cyberbullying may lead its victims to depression and even suicide, which is also called bullicide. In addition to the aforementioned rules that online users should follow when interacting through digital communication technologies, users should abide by copyright rules. Wikipedia defines copyright as the legal concept enacted by most governments giving the creator of an original work exclusive rights to it usually for a limited time that extend to the whole life of the creator to 50 to 100 years from the creator's death. Generally, it is the right to copy, but also gives the copyright holder the right to be credited for the work, to determine who may adapt the work to other forms, who may perform the work, who may financially benefit from it, and other related rights. 
all work belongs automatically to its creator unless the work is created under a contract with an employer or for a company in which the author is working. You can visit the Canadian Intellectual Property Office website to know more about copyright. On one hand, copyright law gives the authors exclusive rights to their creations. On the other hand, Creative Commons enables authors to give specific sharing licenses to individuals or companies interested in using their work. Licenses vary from less restricted to most restricted. Less restricted are labeled and defined as attribution where users could redistribute, remix, tweak, and build upon the original work as long as there is a proper accreditation to the author. Most restricted are labeled and defined as attribution, non-commercial, not derives, where users are only allowed to download the work and share it with others as long as they properly accredited the author and don't change the original work in any way or use it commercially. You can visit the Creative Commons website for more information. In a nutshell, whenever you think of sharing an image, a video, a song, a code, or any other form of content, you should make sure that you have the right to use this content or else your behavior will be considered as an infringement of copyright and you would have to deal with the consequences of your acts. The synthesis questions for this video clip are How should one react to cyberbullying? How can you protect your creation from being used or misused by others? And how can you avoid infringement of copyright?